Hi Ellie, hi Madison. I was strolling around YouTube uh, and I saw, came across your video, so I thought I'd leave uh, a tag response to this. Take up the uh, the tag. Um, I'm one of the uh, nth degree nerds of the uh, of the internet of uh, YouTube. Uh, I'm one of the fellow YouTubers on here, but I'm in the net. I'm in the nerd category. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I thought I, I, I thought I'd do the uh, leave the video response uh, uh, to this. Uh, I do this for a variety of times. I'm strolling around YouTube. If I come across a tag or a comment or something like that. Uh, I just usually uh, leave a video as a response. It's sort of like uh, as I pop by and saying hello. So, uh, anyways, let's go down onto the tag here. Uh, as you know, I'm a nerd, and uh, nerds don't necessarily have best friends. They, we do have friends. Um, I have friends, anyways. Uh, I'm not. Well, I am. Uh, uh, I said I am an Instagram nerd, and the res the result is is that. I don't have a best friend hanging around with me all the time, but I do. I have good friends, I have close friends, but the best friend thing kind of peters off after a while. Uh, it, it, it <laughs> and uh, it changes. It, it, it doesn't. It's not the the BFF that you're thinking about. The the, the best best friends forever. So it's uh, instead of being a uh, a best friend uh, tag, this is going to be. A nerd, a nerd's uh, friend tag. Uh, so this is a friends for nerds, <laughs> if you want to view it that way. Um, my, uh, my uh, relationship with people changes from time to time. So uh, I had, I had friends in in elementary school, but I was always more, more often not a loner. Uh, all the way through elementary school, through uh, uh, junior high, high school, and then uh, from there I went into astrophysics, and uh, that kind of continued my isolation from the average person. So, uh, friends were wherever I could fit in, or not necessarily fit in, but if a group did, a group of people didn't mind me hanging out with them, or if I could meet a person individually while they weren't hanging with their regular group, then that's how I would have friends. Like, one of the friends I hung around a lot when I was younger was my brother's best friend. And then later on, as my brother uh, got more into a, more a different crowd or a different cool crowd, because um, my brother was popular, uh, I ended up hanging around uh, with that person as my best friend. And then... Uh, my life kind of, kind of cycles. Uh, it stays within the sort of the tween phase of things. Uh, so that group of friends uh, grew up and moved on, and a new group of younger friends came in, and I hung with them for I hung with them uh, until they uh, went off and did their own thing. Usually around around eighteen, nineteen, they start going off and doing their own thing. Uh, no one's really studying anymore, and uh, because uh, my entire life is studying uh, and doing research, uh, the people I have most in common with are basically the younger sets who are still who are still in school. Uh, the in terms of other people at my, at my level, I just we just don't get along together a lot because most people, most geeks and nerds have such. They're, they, they, they're highly opinionated, and if you're in a room filled with highly opinionated people, no one's going to get along. And that's why geeks, in many cases, uh, don't have a lot of friends, is because if you're supposed to be hanging in a peer group, then uh, if that entire peer group is highly opinionated, then is going to quickly fall apart because no one can stand being around each other. Because <laughs> we're all highly opinionated. Um, and then, but the, way, the way to sort of work it out is that most geeks have uh, the, uh, if you watch the Big Bang Theory, uh, most geeks have a child side to them where um, 
they're still playing with the toys they played with uh, as children. Uh, Batman, Superman, The Flash. Um, there's, they also have the Star Wars toys, the Star Wars, to you know, Star Trek toys, and there's several different other toys that they have in that. Area. They, the guys will call them action figures. They're really dolls, but they, you know, you don't don't tell a guy that they're playing with dolls. They're action figures. Uh, that sort of was ne never my thing. Uh, my thing is in terms of when I go off into my my my, si my nerd side adventure. Uh, basically, uh, Madison Pettit, Madison, uh, you're my uh, Superman, my Batman, my um, my Flash, uh, because I watched you on Corey in the House. I'm watching you now in Life with Boys. So rather than watching Batman, Spider-Man, and all the other the car the cartoon those cartoon shows. Uh, I watch uh, these shows on Nickelodeon and uh, Disney, both of, both those channels, and then sometimes Teletoon uh, or Cartoon Network. There is on that on that variety. There, I'm not too much into uh, the boys uh, action stuff. I like tea parties. I like um, I like sewing. Um, I like doing uh, what are called kawaii crafts. This is these are crafting from uh, from Japan. Uh, I like the Lolita styles. Y you know, these are the different things that I kind of like. But uh, and it separates me from the rest of the nerd group. So when they're out doing their uh, nerd stuff and video games and hunting down hunting down people and killing them and blah 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 and playing their their fantasy games, it, it's not sort of where, where I'm at. Uh, I'm at a sort of a different state. Most geek guys are, they're like guys in the same mind as guys, as such as it is, uh, but they can't get any girls. So most of the girls they deal with are fantasy girls. And if you ever watch any anime, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. So. But that's, that's not my. That's not me. That's not my personality. I'm. Al I've always been an individual, and so my individuality kind of. I kind of skirt through gr groups. I'm always on the periphery of groups, and if you want to see my friends who are on the internet, my YouTuber friends, uh, you can go on to the fr the front page of my channel, the uh, list that lists uh, the other channels. I have as my friends channels. Those are all my friends on that on that on that side panel of uh, channels. There, those are all my friends on YouTube. Um, so, don't have a best friend, but I have groups of friends that I'm very that I, that I do hang out with. I don't have a problem hanging out with any any group of friends. You know, it does, the type of person doesn't bother me anymore. Uh, it. it, 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 it and the thing is, it doesn't bother me if I'm not included in their main group either. If a group, ha if a, if a person has a time to hang out with me uh, outside of their normal group, I'll take that. <laughs> so uh, that's sort of the way things work for me. So on to the best friend tag. Uh, and it says here, my dream job. Well, uh, when I was a kid uh, and wanted to be somebody in front, uh, you know, pretended to be people in the front of the TV. Uh, I used to watch The Hilarious House of Frightenstein, and the two people that I wanted to be on there was the, uh, the professor who was a physicist, and the librarian. Those are the two people that I wanted to be. And the irony is now is I'm an astrophysicist. I live in my own library and research labs. So I am what I wanted to be when I was a kid, so I am in my dream job. So, uh, so s the friend issue aside, I'm in my dream job. So uh, most people really can't say that. I know you can say that. You're probably in your, you're probably you know amazing. You know that you, it's amazing that you're in uh, you're on TV and stuff. Like that. A lot of people want you know want to be you. So <laughs> I think you could kind of imagine this. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, fashion. Well, I'm a geek, what can I say? Uh, fashion doesn't really come up a lot when you're a geek. It's, uh, and I never, really, I, never really th I never really thought about fashion as a geek. Uh, the, only, the first time I began thinking about fashion as a geek is uh, when Zoe 101 came on 
and the character Quinn had she was a geek but she had a really quirky personality where she dressed to her personality and I kind of like that and so my decision was is that uh, if I have the money to go out and buy clothes and I, use, I don't I get most of my clothes as gifts uh, that uh, the way I would dress would be very uh, not really about fashion but more about style and the one that I, as I was sort of uh, developing my uh, internet presence my virtual presence on the internet uh, I did a lot of uh, I spent a lot of time on the Japanese websites uh, it, uh, surfing in Japanese uh, and there was that I was particularly attracted to there is this group of girls who do uh, Lolita their Lolitas and that's their style and I didn't realize that as I was looking through the, the various different Lolita styles which is all homemade and self-made they design their own clothes uh, I ended up uh, as I clicked through their links I found out that the Hirajuku girls are a form of Lolita girl and I, re I realized from Gwen Stefani's song how popular the Hirajuku girls became uh, and I realized, hey, that this was sort of a path that, that, you know, this is something that a geek can do. A geek can go into sort of that Lolita style where you can design your own styles. You can be like Quinn, really have something. Uh, and that eventually it may even connect at some point in time in a weird way uh, to fashion. But it's not necessarily fashion itself. It's not about being trendy or having, you know... Uh, so there's no, I don't go buying clothes. I, 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 if all the money that I get, if I get any extra cash, I have any money alone lying around, I pull it back into my research. I buy books, I buy computer parts, I buy, you know, stuff like that. That's that's where my money goes. Uh, and then where's the animals? Animals, I love animals. I'm an outdoors person. I've been an outdoors person for all of my life, well, most uh, uh, most of my life, but I started going camping uh, on a regular basis when I was in grade four, and I go every single year uh, out into the woods. Uh, now I have a whole bunch of friends that come with me. These are typically younger. The way <laughs> it, it looks like a summer camp for kids, but it's not. Uh, I had been part of a summer camp uh, early on, a church summer camp. Then the person who was doing it got tired of doing it, and I kept going up to do uh, my research up there to do my uh, basically one to two weeks of re of, uh, of a research expedition uh, in the woods. And I thought, well, if uh, I have a lot of younger friends, and I said, well, if these friends don't mind hanging around hanging around with me while I'm doing my work, uh, they they can more come on up and hang out with me. And so this kind of that was six six seven years ago. And this is kind of formed into a an informal uh, camp, summer camp, where uh, we spend two weeks uh, in in August at the end of end of July and the beginning of August. Uh, we go up to uh, a, a property uh, three hours north of Toronto, north uh, east of Toronto, and uh, it's right the, it's right on the edge of Algonquin Park. So the wooded area it's it's all wilderness out there. And there's a base, there's a very tiny um, base camp that has water, electricity, and stuff like that. But it doesn't support much of anything. It's a very tiny thing. And uh, we go up there, we hang out, we uh, we walk we walk around the, the woods, we uh, look at different trees, we look at the, at, at the formation of uh, of moss on the trees. We we do astronomy at night. It's, it's you know it's, that, that's the, the that's the expedition they do up there. And I have my said I have my friends hanging out with kids my friends hanging out with me. Movies. Well, I spend most of my time studying and reading, so movies aren't something that I go to a lot. Weird food. Most of the food that I eat, most people consider weird because it's not standard American uh, North American food. Uh, my culture is I'm Greek, uh, Middle Eastern, uh, but the Greek background is for not inside of proper Greece, but from Turkey. Uh, where, which is the, these are the Asian Minor Greeks and the Syrian Greeks, and my mom is Syrian, so the culture spreads uh, all the way from the west, the westernmost part of North Africa, 
all the way up into Asia along the Silk Route. That Silk Route, uh, because uh, they have a common, uh, particularly among the Greeks, uh, they have a common culture that spreads all the way across there, and that's my culture. So I have a lot of Indian food. I have a lot of have a lot of Asian food. I have a lot of Middle Eastern food. There's a lot of spices in there, and most people really don't like spices too much. Uh, I, but I do. I love spices. I love heat. <laughs> uh, so I have my fun like that. TV. This is the final one. We're getting to the, t the the final one. The TV uh, question. My TV question is that. Uh, well, you're my TV, basically. Uh, uh, I, I've, I see Cody Simpson for, uh, on the different channels that I watch. As they have in between, they have uh, Cody Simpson's their, his video. Uh, so, uh, and I watch Ali on uh, YouTube. But for Madison, uh, I said I watch Cory in the house. I, I watch you from uh, Cory on the house. Uh, I, and so you're you're basically my TV. That's my TV watching there. Uh, fairly odd parents. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Zoe 101, uh, uh, now it's Jesse, uh, Shake It Up, all, all, all the show, those are, those are my shows. And I have friends that uh, I, I get on Skype and watch them with, so. And these are younger friends, so. Anyways, uh, that's, uh, my, uh, that's me and my best friends. My best friends, we do all these things together. Uh, and I think it's, it's just, for my friends, it's, it's a matter of hanging out. That's it. That's it. It's, it it's, if you can hang out with somebody and have something in common like that, and we do the craft and we do all these different things, we watch the TV shows like, you know, your TV shows, uh, that's what the friends are all about. And if, even if I don't have a best friend, I have enough other friends that I can hang out with that uh, it makes things okay. All right. Take it easy. I hope you guys... Uh, uh, do well in your careers. I hope you get whatever you want out of life. Uh, I probably won't be seeing you around at any, you know, anytime soon. I don't think you'll be wanting to hang around a geek like me. So thank you and have a good have a good time. It was it was nice meeting you.